Okay guys, for the longest time I wanted to get a bike bag for my bike so that when I'm out doing gospel tracks, curbside delivery with my gospel tracks on my bike, I have something very convenient for me to get my gospel tracks from. What I've done in the past, I would have my Innova disc golf bag, and I've showed that many times before, um, around my shoulder, and that's what I would use for my parades and such. And a lot of people that watch my channel have purchased one of those and used it with great success. It's very comfortable, very easy to use, and store your gospel tracks. But something for a bike, it's not really that convenient because it's something around your shoulder can get in the way a little bit. Um, otherwise, what I would do is I'd have my bike, my uh, backpack, and I would put my gospel tracks in there. And I have a biking jersey, which typically has pockets in the back that you can grab from. But the problem with that is you have to put it in a little bag uh, because you have sweat issues. Obviously, you're going to be sweating quite a bit, and you don't want that on your gospel tracks. It can get really nasty and uh, destroy your gospel tracks. So, and you don't want to, you know, it's just kind of unsanitary and gross. So. And it's not as convenient to, you know, always reaching in your back pocket um, on your bike jersey and grab those out of your bag, also in the pocket. So it's just kind of a problem. So anyway, I picked up this thing. Supposedly it's on sale for half off. I got it for about $20 when it was about $40. i will post a link in the description. Now there's a lot of bike bags out there. This is just one of them that I happened to find. And I think it's probably the best one for the price. I went to a bike store in Green Bay the other day and they had some bike bags. And specifically, I'm talking about bike bags that's in the front of your bike, like that. And I'll show you how this goes on your bike in just a moment. I haven't tried it on my bike yet. But I, and I just literally just opened this up right now, like just a few minutes ago, and took it out of the packaging. But anyway, so, yeah, I was checking out all kinds of different bike bags, and this one just seemed to be the best for the money. I went to a store in Green Bay, and it was so much, it was like 50 bucks just for not even as good of a bag. I mean, this one has something for your cell phone, so you're biking, you want to... You know, maybe you got your GPS up or something like that. I haven't tried it yet, but, you know, I'm sure it works just fine. But you can toy around with your cell phone in there. This is only $20. Otherwise, you got 50 and up as far as price. And I think that this might be probably the better deal. Now, it doesn't have a whole, whole lot of space in there. But we're going to stuff some gospel tracks in here. I just grabbed a bunch of random stuff um, and see how this works. Now, it's got an additional thing for your cell phone right here. You can have the light on your phone. If you don't have a bike light, I'm not sure how well that's going to work compared to a bike light. But, you know, put your cell phone in here. But, hey, that's just more storage for gospel tracks. You have these two side pockets that you could use for water bottles, like small water bottles. But we're using the gospel tracks, of course. Uh, an additional little pocket right there. So what I'm going to do, I have a pop socket on my phone. And, you know, I only have two hands, not three hands. So I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to hold the phone with my out my mouth using the pop socket and I'm not going to be able to talk obviously but I'm just going to show you you know what it's like to stuff this and then we'll go out for a bike ride in a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like on my bike. That's really good for these longer gospel tracks. I've got several of them. That's awesome. So far I like it and of course I can stuff more in here and more in there and even inside the bag but so far I like it. The only thing that I kind of dislike slightly, it might not matter that much, I just I wish the bag opened up like in the front right here rather than like this. 
but I'm sure it's not going to matter too much. I mean, when you're biking, you might have it stuffed as much to the brim. Uh, you can just when you're as you're delivering, just have it open. You can grab stuff and and you know hopefully things don't fly out. But uh, hey, so far I like it. Let's try it out on the bike. All right, I guess I'll use this opportunity to show off all the bikes I have. So this is my first bike right here. It's a Le Mans Bonus Eris, and I've had this one for almost 20 years now. A friend gave it to me. A couple other bikes. We have a mountain bike right here. Now this big will work on any of these bikes. And here is my new favorite bike. This is actually my friend's bike, the same friend that gave me that other bike almost 20 years ago. I've been riding this one a lot. Full carbon bike. It is a Trek. I love Trek. Very nice bike. That's probably the one I'm going to be using. Um, but what I want to explain though is that you can have like a, a bike bag in the back or a backpack. You can store more gospel tracks in there so that when you and if you run out of room from the gospel tracks in here, you can reload. So I've been biking with this almost every other day or so. I go out and do some uh, campsite evangelism. I made a video about that. About a year ago, I was thinking about making an updated video on that. In fact, I do have some film footage of when we went camping just last week. But yeah, I'll go out there. It's a almost eight mile bike ride and leave some gospel tracks or nuggets of truth when I'm out there. Because you have new campers always coming in there from outside the state and inside of the state. So new people all the time. But anyway, so actually, you know what? Let's take this one because I don't have any lights and stuff in the front. It'll be easier just to pop that bag on there right away without having to mess around with it. But yeah, this is my baby right here. We go a long way, a lot of stories, a lot of adventures with this guy right here. We actually had it repainted once, um, but I got the wrong decals. So the blue and the blue paint doesn't really match very well. And it's starting to chip away a little bit. It needs to be repainted. But uh, yeah, I poured a lot of money into this thing. Right after I graduated high school, I bought these wheels right here. 16 bladed spoke bond trigger wheels. It was like almost $1,000. Yeah, biking is not a cheap sport if you want to go top of the line. Anyway, so let's get that bag on there and see how well it holds up. All right, so we are right across the street from our house. There used to be a high school here, and this used to be the track and football field. So, unfortunately, there's one thing I overlooked, and I can't believe I overlooked this. So you have these two straps right here. That's great, it's fine and dandy. But then you have this strap right here that's supposed to go around this part. Problem is, this stem right here sticks out that much and you know you can't really get to it. So it's gonna hang like that and, and you know it's not gonna be up like that. So it's gonna hang down, I, ha I have it open. Um, so you just have to be careful, I guess, how you store your gospel tracks in there. Now it should be okay. So I mean, I was just biking around the trail here. This is the remnants of what used to be the track. I used to do track in high school for a few years. That was a lot of fun. So, yeah, things seem pretty stable. I mean, when you're doing curbside delivery, and maybe you, you won't have a bike that sticks out like that and it will more conveniently go on your handlebars. Um, but when you're delivering gospel tracks to people's newspaper boxes, it's you're going to be going slow. You're not going to be going super fast anyway. Hey guys, so, so far, it's, it's not too bad. Again, it's a little bit of a disappointment, but we'll see how it works in action. I have no idea what's going on here at the park. Anyway guys, so, praise God, I switched bikes, and because this bike has more cables right here, it rests a lot easier. Now it's not perfect still, but it's a lot better. Um, now I do kind of wonder about the integrity of these straps because you know, you're gonna have a heavy bag on here for however long, going over bumps and stuff. After a time, it's probably gonna start to tear, I would assume anyway. Now I do have a lot less uh, stuff in here as I did before, just because of weight. And that was before I decided I was gonna switch bikes. Um, but I probably could have put more in there. I got a couple nuggets of truth in there as well. Now, those are going to weigh the thing down quite a bit if I just load it up with racks. So I'm not really going to do that as much. But uh, yeah, you can see it's a little bit more stabilized in the upright position there. 
But I'm just heading out right now somewhere out in the country where there's going to be a lot of newspaper boxes and uh, see how this works. I mean, it's real nifty. You got nice grabbing action right here. Easily take it out or in the side pockets and you can flip this open and it's going to be just well. Actually, I was thinking, um, I mean, it's pretty easy right there, but you have that little pocket right there. You can have them um, in that pocket like this as you're grabbing. By the way, I'm passing the entrance here to the forest section of the bike trail, the Raleigh bike trail that goes to Point Beach State Forest. And I take that bike ride about every other day or so, as I was talking about before. Drop of gospel tracks, it's kind of my incentive. I get a good workout, but also the incentive of going out there to be able to give gospel tracks to people who don't normally come here, who are probably all over the state even. There's over a hundred campgrounds or campsites over there. So it's a five mile bike ride uh, in the forest section right there. One way to get to the other end. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. All right, so let's do this. Now, a couple years ago, I think it was like two years ago, I came through here and I delivered exit movie flyers inside these boxes. Now, these are not mailboxes. They don't have a cover on it, so it's gotta be for newspapers. And besides, you have a cluster box right there, which would be for the mail. So I can only assume that this would be for like newspapers and such. So let's go. By the way, I went kind of back into the city a little bit um, because I just remembered, oh yeah, there's that one spot where there's a whole bunch of boxes lined up in the row, and that's what I want to do is show you guys like boom, 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 uh, instead of just like one every like minute or so. Anyway. Hmm. I saw a newspaper in that one. By the way, little library, fill those up with gospel tracks. People do take these books. Fill every one of those books up, as many as you can, with gospel tracks. Now you can see I'm skipping like every other box because there's two right next to each other. So what I can do is just come back around and um, do the other side, or I can just simply stop and do it. It's just really hard to be on the move and deliver two at the same time like that. Well, okay, maybe not too bad. But yeah, these are definitely not mailboxes. And by the way, as a reminder, I talked about this in one of my Where to Leave Gospel Tracks videos. You can leave gospel tracks in porta potties like this. Shall we? These I like to leave million dollar bill gospel tracks in there, but 
That one is good. Set the bike here. Somebody will see that. So just put that simply right there. Oh, whatever. They'll see it. This is pretty nice. Now when there's a car coming like that or people are around me, sometimes I'll just stop doing it and circle around maybe sometimes, depending on the situation. I mean, by all means, be brave and just do it anyway. You can, I mean, whatever you want. Back to normal mailboxes. Now, with some of these mailboxes, you want to make sure that there's not an opening on the other side. Like that one doesn't have an opening on the other side. Some of them do. And if you put something that is especially pretty light, it's going to blow out on the other end. So, I mean, you can have some remedies for that. So, of course, you can use a nugget of the truth. You can put a rock on it. If you want to bring a bunch of junk rocks with you for paperweight. I've done that a few times for people I really wanted to get a gospel tract to. Like this one guy I know somewhere that I wanted to give a exit movie flyer to. But he had a mailbox with a huge opening on the back. So, it's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? Um... I was going to say something else about this bag before, but I totally forgot. I did have to take off the headlight here to get this to fit, but, I mean, that's, you know, be bike, biking during the day, most likely, anyway. You can go out at night, I mean, if you're more comfortable doing that at night, or at dusk, or the crack of dawn, because there would be fewer people, of course, if you're nervous about it, and less likely, or likelihood of a chance of getting caught, so, it's up to you, you guys. Um... Now, I'm going to keep on the lookout for a better bag, but so far, I give this bag my approval. Again, I'll put the link in the description of where you can get this on Amazon. It took one day for me to get it. Now, that's, I don't know, there's probably an Amazon facility, I think, between Kenosha and Milwaukee, so it's pretty close by. I don't think I ever went down here yet. pretty easy to just grab and go grab and go grab and go so yeah I'll keep an eye out if you guys see anything uh, as far as I know the bigs that um, I have seen only open up in the front like that and not like you know this way which would be a lot better in my opinion for this purpose but when people make these bigs they don't have this in mind of course so I give it my approval so God bless you guys and um, until next time happy tracking and if you have any questions or anything, any ideas even, please share with me. I'm happy to still learn different ideas on how to get the gospel out. And happy to help inspire you to get the gospel out to the masses. Let's parade the gospel. Let's get it out there. And let God do the rest. Remember, He is sovereign.